Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Loot today for October 26th, the series that shows you the Target Loot map, farming tips and tricks, vendor reset highlights, and much more. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider pressing those subscribe and like buttons below. In the pinned comment, there are links to join my Discord, my clan, my channel, but we'll cover more of that at the end of the video. Let's get started with the Dark Zones first and the highlights from the vendors this week then DC, and then New York City Target Loot highlights last. Alright agents, this is your daily reminder to do your weekly SHD requisition for your first exotic cash. Your second one is just complete floor 100 on the summit. You can do this by joining a group that's on floor 100 or close, or you can do it by yourself. It gives you one exotic cash and then one name cash, and that includes anything that's named, including the Dark Zone exclusives. And then finally, we got Legendary Capital Building this week for the weekly Legendary Mission. That's your third exotic cash you can get. And remember, that's per character, up to four characters each. All right, agents, now we're on the highlights for the Dark Zone. So we don't really have much in DZ West. It's True Patriot. You can farm it if you want, if you need it for whatever reason. Now, I got a build video with True Patriot. It's probably one of my favorite builds I've ever made. I'll put it in the top right card now. Otherwise, there's nothing to farm for, and also nothing at the vendors this week, which is going to be resetting tomorrow. But over here in DZ South, we do have a few things that I can mention. First off, there's the Anarchist Cookbook with Perfectly Wicked. You can buy that for 152 DZ resources today, and that's going to reset tomorrow, of course. And then for the targeted loot, we got Fenris. So, of course, you can get the DZ exclusive chest piece with Perfect Overwatch talent on it, and that's called the Ferocious Calm. And then finally, over here in DZ East, the highlight of the day for sure is going to be the Rail Splitter with Perfect Accurate. You can farm for this today in DZ East. You can also farm for several other named assault rifles, but that is the DZ exclusive named assault rifle. And also in the DZ East vendor, you got the Black Friday with Perfect Unhinged. That's a DZ exclusive LMG that's definitely worth picking up, at least as a collectible. All right, let's go check out the Northside Target Loot highlights. All right, agents, we're over here on the north side, Target Alu highlights. So starting off with Camp White Oak, we got Petrov. So that's the contractor's gloves. That's what you want to farm for. With 8% damage to armor, I run this on any LMG build that I have. It's definitely a mandatory thing to run when you run an LMG build for sure. Or if you're stacking damage to armor, like running two pieces of Walker Harrison Co. stacked with the, you know, contractor's gloves. We got Walker Harrison Co. at Coney Island Ballpark. You can go ahead and farm for the Chain Killer with Perfect Headhunter. The Matador does drop, but it does drop from Target Loot Rewards, i.e. completing the mission or activity where Walker Harrison Co. is Target Loot. Of course, Matador has Perfect Adrenaline Rush on it, and it's definitely worth farming for. Just comment below and let me know, you know, how often do you get it to drop from Target Loot Rewards? I haven't farmed Walker Harrison Co. in a while. Now we got submachine guns at Coney Island Amusement Park. You can farm for the Lady Death, of course. The refarm for the Chatterbox. If you don't have the Chatterbox, I'll put a video in the top right card. It's a five-minute video. Easy to, you know, just run through it in a few hours and get the Chatterbox. And then, of course, the best SMGs in this game would be a Vector variant or an MPX. Usually with strained on it, up close and personal. And then, of course, you can get the Dark Winter in the apartment. Those are DZ exclusives, though. I believe that the, uh, the Dark Winter drops from Target Loot Rewards, similar to the way the Matador does, but please comment below and let me know if you also have had that drop from Target Loot Rewards. Otherwise, the LZ drop, you know, droppable uh, SMGs would be the Safety Distance with Perfect Outsider and then Swap Chain. We do got Aces and Eights at Manning National Zoo. You can run that three pieces with two pieces of Arelda Holding and one Walker Harrison Co you know, perfect headhunter chest piece, and that's a pretty good headshot build. I personally prefer the all high-end one after they remove the multiplicative damage from the, you know, four piece of aces and eights, I believe it is. And then, of course, summit. I'm probably not going to be doing this anymore. You can just pick your own targeted loot and run it. You can pick it privately. It doesn't have to be the same as other group members. You know, I don't really ever farm the summit, though. It's not something I enjoy that much. All right, let's go check out the west side target loot highlights. All right, agents, we're over here on the west side target loot highlight. So starting off on west end, we got Grupo Sombra. So one piece for DPS builds, two pieces for explosive skill damage builds. 
that's just what I always recommend to you guys. It's the way you do it. It's 15% crit hit damage for the first piece and then 15% explosive damage for the second piece. And you usually want them either all red or all yellows. We do got Bellstone Armory at Bank HQ, so you can get the Everyday Carrier with Perfectly Efficient. And I don't know yet if the Target Elute Rewards will drop you the Perfect Bloodsucker Talent on the Liquid Engineer Backpack. I personally have just got it from the Season Rewards in the Dark Zone, but please let me know in the comment section below your experience with getting the Liquid Engineer Backpack. As far as gear sets go, we got Negotiator's Dilemma at DCD HQ. I mean, that's a really great set still, even all four pieces. I have a double LMG build I highly recommend with this. It's a crowd control and DPS build. You got Eclipse Protocol at Constitutional Hall. You want to run four pieces with either the Imperial Dynasty or the Vile Mask and one piece of Golan gear for the best fire damage or status effect builds possible, in my opinion. You got Strikers at Potomac Event Center. I never recommend Strikers. I'd recommend Hunter's Fury over that any day. And then Negotiator's Dilemma again, double targeted loot. Or sorry, this is Tip of the Spear, my bad. So actually, Tip of the Spear is pretty good. It's, I think it's based around specializations. I've used it before in the raids before, but that's about it. You got knee pads at Tidal Basin Stronghold. You can get the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads. You can get the Sawyer's knee pads and the Fox's Prayer knee pads. Now, Fox's Prayer, I would farm Overlord over here in American History Museum. It'll make it much easier to get, and it gets some stuff out of the loot pool that are knee pads. So that's what I recommend. It gives you 8% damage to targets out of cover. Absolutely best type of damage in the game, which is multiplicative damage, amplified damage. And then of course, we got holsters at West Potomac Park. So you can get the Imperial Dynasty holster, the Forge holster, and the Dodge City holster. All three of them are really worth farming for. I recommend all three. It just depends on what kind of build you're running it on. All right, let's go check out what we got on the East Side Target Loot highlights next. All right, agents, we're over here on the east side target loot highlights right before NYC. Let's get started with Judiciary Square. We got Badger Tough over here. That's a 0S chess piece with Perfect Unbreakable. I highly recommend it. I have a few builds that utilize the Perfect Unbreakable chess piece. I mean, every 55 seconds, when you lose your armor, you get your armor bar completely back to 100%. It goes great with SMG and shotgun builds mixed with Hunter's Fury as well. So I'd recommend that on top of that. We got Araldo holding a DUA today. If you're looking for, you know, god roll pieces, you can also run this on Legendary. You always want weapon damage, headshot damage, and weapon handling, in my opinion. Because this goes great two pieces with a headshot damage build. Mix it with a punch drunk mask, chain killer chest piece. Dang, you can even put the Dodge City holster on too. It's There's all sorts of variations you can do with headshot damage. And of course, we got gloves at Jefferson Trade Center today. That's the BTSU gloves. Those are amazing. In fact, I had a subscriber share a build with me yesterday. I won't share it with you guys right now because he sent it to me in a direct message, so I don't want to just share it right away. But it includes the BTSU gloves, a healing hive, and the assault turret. It looks really good. And the BTSU gloves, I don't see too many people running around with, but they're extremely good. They overcharge you. You know, as soon as you destroy that hive, your all your skills are overcharged. And anyone else in your group that's at skill tier 6 is also overcharged as well. So highly worth farming for. And there's a chance for the Coyote's Mask to drop from Coyote the boss at Jefferson Trade Center as well. As for gear sets, we only got Future Initiative. It's over here in East Mall. You got four control points to farm for that. I always just run four pieces. I mean, it's really worth it, but like Foundry Bulwark, Future Initiative chest and backpack pieces do not drop in the open world or the Dark Zone. They only drop from the Iron Horse Raid. It's an Iron Horse Raid exclusive for now. I'm guessing around title update 12, they'll get rid of this. But until then, we're just going to have to wait or you're going to have to farm the Iron Horse Raid. Now we got rifles over here at Capitol Building Stronghold. That's the Diamondback and Merciless Exotic Rifles. And then the classic M1A, which is the only rifle I recommend that's a high-end rifle. You can, of course, get the Baker's Dozen with Lucky Shot. Me, per I prefer to get either a classic M1A with the best damage talents on it, Rifleman, Ranger, or Boomerang. I, per I prefer Boomerang for sure, but the other two are just as good, if not better. We got Hana Yu at Southwest. That's the Force Multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms and extra 30% skill damage every three seconds that you land a hit on an enemy. Always worth it to run in an assault turret drone build or any skill damage build where you're not running tech support, basically. And then mass over here at Jefferson Plaza. That's the Coyote's mask, the Vile mask, and the Punch Drunk mask. 
which gives you 20% headshot damage baked right into the second or third attribute slot. Now, if there's Douglas and Harding, I would farm that for the Punch Drunk Mask. Otherwise, if you're looking for Coyotes or Vile, definitely hit up Jefferson Plaza today. But I do not think Douglas and Harding is farmable today. I also see Sokolov at Federal Triangle. Anyone that's running an SMG, always run one piece of Sokolov at the very minimum. All right, let's go check out New York City Target Loot Highlights, and I'll let you guys go. All right, agents, we're over here in New York City Target Loot Highlights. So starting off, we got Providence Defense at Civic Center. I highly recommend farming this area if you want to get the Sacrifice with Perfect Glass Cannon. That amplifies all damage by 30%, but it amplifies all incoming damage by 60%. That's why I prefer Obliterate or Intimidate over it. Otherwise, you can farm this open world area for just a better piece of Providence Defense if you need it. We do got Hunter's Fury as the gear set at Tombs, Hardwired and Battery Park, and Foundry Bulwark at Wall, uh, Wall Street. So of course, Foundry Bulwark's great three and four pieces for an armor regen tank build. Hardwired is great because it takes off 30 seconds off your cooldown every time you cancel a skill, or I think use a skill, but definitely cancel a skill. And then Hunter's Fury is just amazing. I mean, it's just face tank type of gear set for SMGs and shotguns. I highly recommend getting it if you don't have it already. And usually want to roll weapon damage and crit hit chance until you're at the 60% cap, then roll crit hit damage. You got light machine guns at Pathway Park, so you can farm for the exotic Pestilence and the exotic Bullet King. Or you can get a named LMG like the Quiet Roar, the Good Times with Perfect Fast Hands, the New Reliable, which is probably my personal favorite, the Carnage, the Slepner, there's all sorts of named LMGs you can get in this game. China Light's great for those explosive da uh, skill damage builds. And then Alp Summit, you can get the percussive maintenance with perfect tech support, but I don't recommend it. I highly recommend getting a chest piece with empathetic resolve for a healer build. And then Golan Gear is great one piece with those status effect builds. And that, that's pretty much it what I recommend in New York City today. All right, agents. Well, that was the target of loot for today. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed my content. If you would like to become a member for support and exclusive perks, click the join button below. Or you can grab some Shadow Gaming merchandise. I just added a bunch of new stuff, lowered the prices across the board. If you want to grab anything, you can hit the link in the bottom pinned comment section below. You can also support me on Alt Tech like Patreon and Subscribestar. But really, if you're still watching this video to the end, thank you. That's the best way to support me and whitelist me on your ad blocker. Take care, agents, and be sure to stay tuned for more daily Division 2 content. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care, agents. Take care, Asian.